Okay, today I'm here with uh, Stephen Hayward, right? Yeah. Okay. How old are you, Stephen? I am 29. 29. Um, so you, I asked you earlier, you served in the Army, correct? Yeah. Cool. So when did you uh, enlist? How old were you? I was, I think I was about 19. 19? I went in at the end of 08, uh-huh. um, near November 20. 20- third I think because it was right after my birthday so I went in I signed up and in about no wait it was October <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I was in basic by my birthday on the 21st of November yeah so were they easier on you during your birthday in basic no, no. It, was it, it was a completely opposite <laughs> yeah you never tell them no. I don't say Fort, anything good yeah. about yourself <laughs> I was in Fort Knox for basic and AIT and you never tell me a birthday <laughs> never so, so what was your job in the army? Um, my ma- main job was uh, a Bradley mechanic. Okay. Which is basically like a smaller version or a different version of a uh, Abram, which is the tank. Okay. A Bradley is a tank that carries a 25 millimeter gun, a machine gun on top, and it can hold up to let me see six, seven, eight, nine, nine to ten passengers. Oh wow, that's really cool. Yeah. Did you know that that's what Arnold Schwarzenegger did in the army? No, in, I didn't. In uh, Austria. Yeah, you should watch the documentary um, about him talking about being motivated. And, I mean, he... I mean, think about, it, like, German, like, hardcore. We're talking, like, in the... Like, communism still around. These dudes are, like, crazy, crazy serious. And he wanted to be a bodybuilder. And while he was in basic, they had the Mr. Or World Junior weightlifting thing. And he was still 17 or 18. So he knew that if he didn't make this, he probably wouldn't get to compete. So he, he left, went AWOL, went to the competition. This is while he's in basic. So he was still able to train while he was in basic training, which is nuts. Came back, won, won the thing, came back, and then uh, they found out that he went AWOL, sent him in the hole for a week, and then they figured out that he'd actually won. And so then the government was like, look, um, what you did was um, honestly, you're lucky we didn't just throw the book at you, but since you won, this would be a good thing for us to get more recruits and say, hey, look, this is our army. Look at this big dude. So what they did for him was when he, he was a, he was a uh, tank mechanic, so the, and he, I think he owns this tank now, but he shows like how they built in all these weights around the tank. So Because you do go slough, you run drills, but then you kind of, you know, in the military, the saying you hurry up and wait, you know yeah. what I mean? So you do all this stuff and then you just sit around and he, while they were doing that, he would just train and crazy but anyway so that's cool i've never met another guy that was that worked on tanks so yeah. that's awesome what did you choose that or did it choose you um kind of a mix of both they gave me a, a lot of different options but i liked working with my hands I yeah mean, i'm really good at it i did it with my grandpa before he passed um and he taught me a lot so i just stayed with the uh, diesel mechanics and i saw that and they talked to me about it i saw him i looked him i researched it and i thought it would be fun and i loved it that's cool have you done anything with uh mechanic stuff like that since you've been out um i've tried Uh i mean i've helped friends and family work on their vehicles and stuff like that but other than that i really don't do anything really yeah that's cool uh what do you do now that you're out of the service um well because i am uh disabled because of things that happened over there Mm -hmm. um actually i just go around helping like my family or sitting around watching my kid yeah or your father that's good even th- I'm thinking about going back to school. That's maybe, cool. So. What would you want to do if you went back to school? I don't know. I'm thinking about staying in the mechanics field. Yeah? But I don't know yet. Yeah. That's going to get the rest of your life to figure that out, man. I think some people spend their whole lives trying to figure out what they want to do and never really do. Yeah. You know, so you got plenty of time. Well, if I could, I'd go back in and do that same job, but that's not possible. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I find that a lot. I've, I've, had, I've taken a few guys out to, uh, out to lunch that have been um, very adamant about making the point that when you, if you do go in, make it work for you because getting out with a trade that you can use in the real world is a very smart thing. And it is. I, I got a guy that was um, demolition, and he's like, <laughs> what am I going to do? You know? And, I, you know, and me being the uh, naive person that I am, I, I was like, well, couldn't you just, like, go be, go to Hollywood and do, like, yeah. big... He's like, there's, like, three guys in the world that do that, and they all got the job. And I was like, well, then what about, like, asphalt, like, rock quarry, stuff like that? <laughs> Same thing. I was yeah. like, damn, that really sucks, so... The problem is, like, after I got out, you know, I did 
I was an um, idiot Mike, is what they call it, tape mechanic, but um, I came out, and I worked on those things for eight years, mm-hmm. you know, I could, me and uh, me and the crew that I was with, we could tear apart an engine, put it back together in 24 hours, working awesome. around the clock, and I mean, that's a big engine. Yeah, those are huge engines. Yeah, 1,200 horses, yeah. and, but anyways, I got out, I tried for some of the jobs that were decent mechanics, because I knew I could do it, mm-hmm. I mean, that was no problem. Um, and they said that they wouldn't do it because they I didn't have the uh, degree to the show diesel it. Diesel mechanic training? Yeah. That's so stupid. You know, but yet they'll take someone that has it with no experience over someone that has years of it. Yeah. So they they just want you to play the game, get a loan, and go to go through the whole thing. Yeah. But you can go you can go to school for free though, GI Bill, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So you that, at least you got that in your favor. Um, Hey, did you ever get to drive a tank? Oh, yeah, many really? times. That's yeah. awesome. I love it. That's so it. cool. Oh, dude, I bet. I, I got bet. to drive one, shoot one, you name it, I did it. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That's really so. cool. That's awesome. Well, uh, Stephen, thank you very much for your service, and uh, thanks for doing this interview today, and uh, good luck in the future, my brother. Well, thank you. I appreciate it.